All right, y'all, welcome to the show. So I got a lot of great stuff for you today. In just a second, we're going to get into Michael Moore issued another dire warning for Biden and the Democrats. The reason why we should take this seriously is because his track record in recent years has been honestly astonishing with how right he's been on so many things. He predicted Trump was going to win in 2016 when everybody was laughing at him and mocking him. I think he predicted Biden was going to win in 2020. Um, and then he was one of the only people who got the midterm race right because everybody was saying red wave, red wave, red wave. He was like, nope, not going to happen. And he was right. And in fact, it was a lot of his his takes on it that led me to be more agnostic because my instinct was like, I don't know, I kind of buy the red wave argument. There's definitely enough numbers out there to make that argument. But then seeing what he said, I was like, ah, no, I'm kind of agnostic now because he made some great points. So the fact that he's issuing a dire warning for the Democrats, we should definitely listen to what he has to say because he's uh, he seemingly has a crystal ball. Not in the exact way I have a crystal ball, but he has his own his own crystal ball. Um, all right, then we'll get to, we have one of the pro-Trump judges in one of his cases, particularly the classified documents case. She may be booted off that case because she's made some insane decisions and it looks like Jack Smith is basically going to you know, put a motion in with a higher court to get her dismissed. I'm not sure of all the legal specifics of that, but that's the gist of what would happen. That's going to be really interesting. Later on in the show, we have uh, a 400 millionaire goon goes on CNN and absolutely melts down trying to defend Trump. Uh, it's kind of an embarrassing video, if I'm honest with you. He uh, talks over the hosts and makes an ass of himself, so we'll dive into that. And then later on in the show, we have a new U.S. world, or excuse me, world happiness report that came out. And uh, I'm going to tell you where the U.S. ranks. And uh, unsurprisingly, it's not pretty. It turns out people in this country, on average, are really not all that happy. So we'll talk about all that and much more. Everybody, you know the shameless plugs. You know the drill. Please subscribe to the channel. It helps out massively in the algorithm. Costs you nothing at all. We're trying to get to that 10 million sub number, and we got a long way to go. But we build it one at a time. So hook a brother up with a sub. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. So this is in Mediate. Michael Moore issues dire warning to Democrats. Quote, Trump is smarter than us. Damn. Now, that's a bold comment that's going to get generate quite a few headlines. Let's see what he has to say. Michael Moore warned his audience that even he knew sounded a little shocking coming from him. Donald Trump is smarter than us. On the last episode of his Rumble podcast released Sunday, Moore said many are concerned and nervous about November's election. And he noted that Michigan's Democratic Party results showed that Trump is winning, show that Trump win, Trump, blah, 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 showed that Trump winning is a legitimate fear. Moore was one of the activists behind a movement in Michigan encouraging voters to cast uncommitted ballots to protest Biden's support of Israel in the Israel-Hamas war amid growing civilian casualties in Gaza. Quote, you can lose Michigan just by having 10,000 people sit out, Moore said. The uncommitted movement ended up receiving more than 100,000 votes. Moore turned to Trump and admitted his latest warning to his listeners might get them calling for him to be locked away. Quote, we don't want to say this out loud, but I'm going to say it. And the reason we need to be concerned is that Trump is smarter than us. I'll just let that sink in for a second. I know, I know you're calling the people to come find me, the guys in the white uniforms with the big net and take me away. Are you crazy? What do you mean he's smarter than us? Moore clarified that in some ways, Trump is dumber. But I'm talking about the way throughout his entire life, he's been able to pull shit off and get away with it. It's an amazing record. You know the record. Moore expressed concern that Trump will be successful in delaying all of his trials until past November's election. All right, we're going to come back to that because that is a huge point. And that's like basically the only thing in regards to his court cases that I'm scared of as well. The director declared that the former president has never paid a price for a variety of his behaviors, crimes, various things he did with his father, racist stuff, sexual assault, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. The director theorized that even if Trump is caught in the midst of a criminal trial, he could likely win a not guilty verdict or at least a hung jury. Quote, you must marvel at how somebody that stupid is that smart when it comes to the performance of his evil and his ability to never have to pay for it, Moore said. Okay, some bold ass comments here, man. So, all right, let me explain where I think he's right and wrong. Where I think he's 100% right, and this scares the shit out of me too, is... I don't fear that he's going to win all of his cases. 
There are 91 criminal charges against Trump. 91. Even if he just goes down on like seven of them, that's a big deal. And that could be time behind bars. So I'm not worried about whether or not he did it, whether or not he'll be found guilty in some of them. I think it's already a foregone conclusion he's going to be found guilty in some of them. And he already has been found guilty in a lot of his civil trials. He's been found liable for defamation. Uh, he's been found liable for fraud, business fraud, tax fraud, insurance fraud. He has to pay that tremendous amount of money, over $450 million as a result of it. So the whole Teflon Don thing is, is done. He's not Teflon. Clearly, uh, there are some ways you can get him. And they have, right? But the thing I'm afraid of is exactly that. That if he keeps doing these delay tactics and the court keeps going along with it, or even just going along with some of his delay tactics, then it is very, very likely you're delaying all of his trials past the November election, which means what? You're going to get a conclusion on the November election before we know if he's guilty on any of the felonies. And then all of a sudden now we're in a constitutional crisis because according to the Constitution, the president can only be impeached. When they're a sitting president, they can only be impeached. They can't be um, put behind bars in a criminal conviction. Now, you know, when he gets back out of prison, that's a different question. And he could certainly be found guilty and put behind bars in that scenario. But if we don't have a conclusion to the trials, and then you have the election before we know, and he wins, well, then that's it. Like, all of this work here on these cases, it's on pause for four years. And so that absolutely scares the shit out of me. And this is what he's saying. He's saying it's going to happen. Trump will be successful in delaying all of his trials until past November's election. And the fact that he's saying that leads me to believe, fuck, look at his record of getting all the other things right. If he's right about this, oh boy, we're in trouble. Now, my disagreement with him is, I think he's overstating the other stuff a little bit. It is a little bit too much of that Teflon Don idea. Yes, I grant you, there was a time where seemingly the motherfucker got away with everything. Every single thing, he got away with it. Even when they tried to impeach him, it would get through the House, but it would die in the Senate. When they tried Russiagate and the Mueller investigation, well, guess what? They came back with that and said, sorry, there's really no direct ties to Russia. We can't take anybody down over some Russia shit. Uh, they were able to get Paul Manafort and some of the other campaign people on regular corruption stuff. Michael Flynn was doing shit for the Turkish government. So there's real stuff there, but it just wasn't vis-a-vis -vis Russia, and Trump walked away sort of unscathed. If anything, it helped him. So there was a, a, certainly a time where he would just get away with everything. But what the civil trials have taught us is that time is up. That when you got to pay over $450 million for your various crimes, um, that's a big deal. He can't even get a bond for that amount of money, which means it's very likely they'll seize assets unless the higher court steps in. So um, I don't agree with him on the Teflon thing. Yes, there was a time he was Teflon. He's not Teflon anymore. But what I do agree with him on is um, the delay tactics, and that might work. Now, the final point I'll make is this. For the election, I don't actually fear Trump himself for the election, because in my opinion, the only way he, he can win is if Biden cannot get his shit together at all, right? Look, fact of the matter is, 91 criminal charges, Trump's an extremist, um, he really doesn't fare well. Every election since 2016, he's underperformed, MAGA Republicans have underperformed, so it's not really about him. My biggest fear is Biden can't pull it together and get the right strategy and do the right policies to defeat him, right? So in other words... If Trump wins, it wouldn't really be Trump winning. It would be Biden losing. You understand what I'm saying? You understand the distinction? And so for Biden, like, dude, you got to stop arming and funding Israel. Your numbers have fallen off a cliff with young people, and you need them to win. And they're saying very clearly, for the love of God, stop arming Israel. They're car carpet bombing babies. Enough. Enough. So that's a big issue. The other thing is, yes, you can run a campaign on talking about how shitty Trump is. Of course. But that's only part of the picture. The other thing you have to do is say what you're going to do. So, for example, a lot of Democratic governors have come out and said, we're going to eliminate uh, medical debt in our state. That's amazing. It's amazing. They're wiping out all medical debt. That's insane. Um, if Biden were to do that at the national level, oh, my God, he'd immediately see a five-point polling bump. 41% of Americans have medical debt. It's the top cause of bankruptcy in the country. If you wipe that out, Boom, five-point bump guaranteed. 
So you need to have like real tangible policy plans and get your campaigning shit together and they better keep him on the sauce to make it so that he doesn't have any more of those senior moments where he looks like, forget 81, it looks like he's 117 if you don't have him on the right mix, the right cocktail of, of substances. So that's what I fear more. Look, bottom line is this election is a race to the bottom anyway, right? It's who do the American people hate less? Is it Trump or is it Biden? That's what this comes down to. But the fact that Michael Moore is basically saying, look, strategically in some ways, Trump is kind of smarter than us. Woo, be afraid, man. And I'm, I got my eye on this closely to see as time moves on, as we get closer to the election, to see if he comes out with a hard prediction. Because if he comes out with a hard prediction one way or the other, I mean, his track record has been so spot on that um, I think the instincts would likely be correct. So we'll see what happens. But yet again, this is a dire warning. Don't, the other thing is don't underestimate him, right? You, you can't underestimate him. Um, you have to act like you're always five points down, 10 points down, and really try to run through the tape, right? And uh, I don't know if they have that in them. I hope they do, but I don't know if they have that in them. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.